Arrowhead, the masterminds behind Helldivers 2, have just unleashed a game-changing update that's set to shake up the battlefield like never before. Welcome to a new video where we're going to be diving deep into the latest patch notes for Helldivers 2, where Arrowhead addresses issues and updates their list of known problems. So last week, Arrowhead actually issued a warning advising players against using the Arc Thrower, the Arc Shotgun, and the Tesla Tower due to it crashing the game. There was a promise of a patch release where the developer assured a fix would be rolled out early the following week, which is this week, and it's now released. Essentially, the game no longer freezes when firing arcs from the arc thrower, the arc shotgun, and the Tesla tower. Although this is a really small update or patch or whatever you want to call it to Helldivers 2, I still think it's really, really important that they've done it. Because let's face it, getting kicked off the game because of a glitch is not that helpful. This little glitch would ruin the experience for a lot of people, so the fact that Arrowhead have found this glitch so early on and then immediately patched it is so telling to how dedicated they are to this game and how much effort they're going to to make it great. Like, this isn't a AAA rated game with a massive studio. They don't have thousands of staff. They have just over 100 people working for them, and yet they're able to do this patch so quick and so efficiently. It's just great. It's nice to finally see a developer actually give a shit about their game. I'm looking at you, Activision. Anyway, great to see this patch, but they've also addressed other things in this update. I'm not going to bore you with the list of everything that they addressed, but if you do want to read the known issues, then there will be a link in the description, so go check it out. But in other news, Arrowhead is potentially looking at adding Gatling guns to the game, which, first off, is getting my tits excited, and second off, could be one of the most powerful weapons in the game. Gatling guns historically in video games, and obviously in real life, because they're a real thing, have an extremely high rate of fire with a lot of recoil due to their size and weight and so naturally aren't usually great candidates for primary weapon loadouts. However, as a support weapon, you can only imagine the amount of power and devastation you can bring to the Terminids and automations with this new weapon. And thankfully, the CEO of Arrowhead has actually responded to what I think is a fan-made render of a Helldiver holding what seems to be a Gatling gun. The CEO responded with Gatling guns as support weapons are cool, but only if they accurately represent the insane recoil, like I said before. We may, but it will require some real cool mechanics, so that's really cool to see. Of course, there's no telling if a theoretical Gatling gun would actually come out the gate as one of the best weapons to use in Helldivers 2, and even if it did, Arrowhead has definitely shown that it isn't one to be afraid of nerfing overpowered weapons. I'm sure you're all more than aware by now about the railgun being nerfed. Still, there's no denying that the unique demands and extraordinary fire rate of a Gatling gun would make for a novel addition to the game's meta. Personally, I would absolutely love to see this in the game pretty soon. I can't imagine anyone on the earth would actually disagree with me, but if you do, let me know in the comments. Now, just a little side note, Helldivers 2 launched in February. February 8th to be exact. It's top in the Steam charts, everyone is playing it, and it's reported to have sold over 3 million copies of the game so far. And it's only becoming more and more popular, which is just crazy. I'm so happy to see a game that's actually come out and I enjoy it because it's just it's just really nice to hear that this game is doing well because it's so refreshing and it is so much fun to play and I'm really looking forward to what Arrowhead brings to the game in the future. See you next time in the next video.